pleasant morning one and all or a blessed morning one and all this is your elijah peter chambers once more with a pounding word hallelujah a harsh one and also an intriguing one glory be to god the lord gave me a word for the most honorable noble and jewelness the lord says i'm to convey this message to you that you have brought the anger of god to another level one you took my people out of the place of worship you took the opportunity to give me the glory the honor and the praise and i the lord god will sweep into your whole soul your firstborn will experience death your wife my god juliet minister juliet my god Wallace, her body will become sicker and deteriorate why have you rid my people from worship i the lord god of abram isaac and jacob will turn your whole soul upside down by the power of the blood of jesus christ you have kindled rekindled the anger of god and this video under the power of the blood of jesus there will be a shaking in the very foundation of the human body then my power will begin to demonstrate in your parliament house more than one will experience death and sicknesses the very thing that you have signed to rukat out into the midst of egypt and all the firstborn in the land of egypt shall die kila baba all the firstborn in egypt shall die in jamaica but god told me to tell the sons and daughters of, of god get the bottle of olive oil and anoint yourself by the power of the blood because god is going to sweep through jamaica and mr honorable noble and jewelness you know what say you're bright and feisty i feel the anointing Team. You have the audacity, Rukata, threatening the church. But God says, I'm to convey this word to you. Death will be coming into your immediate family. Death in your house. Your wife, Juliet Cup, Juliet Wholeness, Minister Juliet Wholeness, is going to be sick in her body. Not only her, but many of them in the cabinet, in the Obia cabinet. God said, I'm to tell you, by the power of the blood, that data, the sting of data, is going to wipe you're gonna weep you're gonna moan you think you start moaning yet you think you start ball yet why you're troubling the church why mr andrew wholeness blood and fire the dead angel is coming for you hallelujah and i'm representing the people who are dying in this land the people of jamaica people are inboxing me they're afraid they're hiding and inboxing me all over jamaica say that they took the vaccine and their bodies are deteriorating their bodies are going down yet you're mobilizing to kill off the people but the lord said them to tell you honorable noble and jewelers the people who vote you in they're gonna turn against you they're gonna my god park his at you they must go run you out of jamaica you've got to go you violate spiritual laws long time and then you come and put your evil filthy hands upon the church saying that the church if the church does not take the vaccine
seen that the church can't hold up. Who you be? Blood and fire. You bright and fiercely. Who you think you be? The Bible said Jesus is the chief cornerstone. He is my God, the head of the church, not unholiness. Blood and fire. Rukataraba. God says my judgment will begin in your very body. Your body will become sick. Rukataraba. Yes, the people can't get rid of you. But God says, I'm going to take you out and make you an example for touching the sons and daughters, ridding them from worship. God says, judgment in the camp. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And the Bible says, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die from the firstborn of Pharaoh. From the first pawn of unjewelness, from the first pawn of Mr. Tuftant, from the first pawn, Hudi Baba Shanda, my God, of the ministers of the Umbrella Church, the ministers of the Evangelical Church, and all you pastors, an organization who are backing the evil of the Satanists. God said, Judgment in the land. You better take your filthy hands of the church you know who on the church blood and fire hallelujah glory be to God and the Bible says that from the firstborn of fear that sitteth upon the throne even unto the firstborn of the maid, the maid servants that is behind the mills and all the firstborns of beasts and there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Jamaica, such as there was none like it, nor shall like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of Israel shall not, not a dog move his tongue against the man or beast, that he may know how the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. Rukatadaba, the most honorable, noble, and jewelous. I know you're watching me. Listen, the Lord told me to tell you if you don't open back the church you are he's gonna make you an example your firstborn son is gonna die Katarababa. listen the judicial the corrupt judiciary cannot lock up God and that you need to know Katarababa Shanda your big SWAT team can't shoot God I am sending you a warning, a strong warning from the heavens. Let go the church, fear up. Akatadaba, Ehab, Jezebel, let go the church. Rukatadaba, Shanda, Data in the pot, all in a mimota. Mr. Tuftant and the Honorable Noble Andrewness is data. And the Lord told.
God says, I'm going to lock you down. God says, worms are going to eat your body. Honorable, noble, and Jonas. God's judgment. When you watch this blood and fire, you better let go. God's people. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And the Bible says here, and there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Jamaica, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like unto any more, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against a man or a beast, that he may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, and all these thy servant shall come down unto me and bow down themselves unto me saying get thee out and all the people that follow thee and after that i will go out and he went from pharaoh in a great anger my god god went from the honorable noble and jewelness with a great anger god's anger is against your honorable noble and jewelness and god says that listen in your cabinet i'm gonna pull them they're gonna sick they're gonna struck down with sicknesses and disease in the body some of them don't even go, gonna take the vaccine and they go down that minister according to information corona did not kill him the family members are coming up bashing hallelujah that that's a lie the man took the vaccine to go abroad and the man might cut the vaccine mash up the man body let me convey this to you your front line my cut workers they are calling me from all over saying to me kuraba pastor please pray for me because my body the symptoms that they are talking about the vomiting the the, the noise they are the fainting spell my god some of them feasting up themselves do do up themselves but it feel internally as if the body want to shut down Ruka and they begging for prayer. Don't tell me, say somebody, I try to make your government look bad. I'm talking about the people who are under the agony, who have died under your regime, died under your legislation. And the people of Jamaica, they need to wake up and recognize that Jamaica was signed over to the Illuminati. Jamaica was signed over to Bill Gates. But the blood and God said, I'm going to expose you. You, my God, most honorable, noble, and jewelness. God says, I'm going to bring you down. The my God Almighty. There will be a national protest. The people are going to ball out. We need you no more. You kill off my son, my daughter, my uncle, my aunt. And there are some who are opposing the voice of the Lord. And there and they are at the verge of death but i want somebody to understand that god has raised me as a moses and as elijah and with the mantle of jehu to kill the pl gods in jamaica to take down the witches and warlock to take down the old bear man the palm reader you go dead data in the plot hallelujah glory be to god kila baba kotombro mabra katiri bikondo robusha buku robu satadama mubru kotorobu satadama my god hallelujah and the bible says in wrapping up thank you jesus and all these servants shall come upon me and bow themselves unto me saying get thee out and all the people follow thee and after i go out and he went out from pharaoh in a great anger and the lord said unto Mo moses pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of egypt and moses and aaron did all these wonders before pharaoh and the lord hardened the heart my god and your wholeness your heart hardened from last year may i talk to you to let go God's people, let them go back into the house, go worship, and stop telling lies. 
because God says I'm going to open you see the, you see the fire in my eyes you see the fire in my eyes I come back with blood in my eye Rukata. I prayed all night and God said I'm to convey this to you that death is coming right in your immediate family don't you know that I know last year when I prophesied that somebody in your family is going to die did you know that somebody in high place in your territory called me secretly and told me that a biological family of your of yours died the very day that i prophesied you lost them and the lord said i'm to remind you under the power of the blood the dead angel is coming into your house and your first son the lord hallelujah guys comment what you think about this video and also subscribe